Friday night, and that means it's time once again for IBR Live Tuesday. I'm Limitless Hate, sadly. Um, I'm joined here tonight by Sour Lemonade and the incomparable Robot Butterfly, known for her voice work, um, especially as uh, a well-reputed fan voice for Lyra and uh, Spitfire, and also known for her work during audio drama. So say hi, everypony. Hello. Hi. So, Sour, yes. what do we got on tap tonight? Uh, we've got an interview, Limitless. Oh, snap. <laughs> I have not been made aware of this. <laughs> yes, you have. You've been writing <laughs> questions. Uh, so, yeah, we've got everything set up. By the skin of our teeth, yet again. <laughs> it just would not be Ibrony Radio. <laughs> If we weren't doing this, just on the fly. <laughs> so you're ready to start being interviewed? I'm ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Funny, that's how I feel too. <laughs> All right. No limitless. You're ready to interview, not be interviewed. Are you, just... are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Today's guest is Limitless Hate. And um, <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, no, but uh, seriously. So, robot butterfly. That is me. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um. Okay. Hi, I'm Robot Butterfly. I'm the person who does that Lyra voice, and um. Well, I'm I'm a voice actor. That's what you know me for, and I am. Um, other than doing Lyra and other stuff on my YouTube channel, which is the Robot Butterfly, um, I'm in a lot of audio plays. Like uh, I'm Spitfire in the Vinyl Scratch Tapes. I'm going to be in uh, Welcome to Ponyville, Stop which is a game knocking that's out our questions too early. <laughs> Oh dear! I'm sorry. I'm just trying to explain who I is. Okay. <laughs> One of those things. Doop 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 doop. Uh, I do other things. You can find them somewhere. Yeah. Well, hopefully everyone will have a good idea who you are by the end of everything. Yeah. That's kind of the objective. I need to stop. So I need to stop explaining. Well, not <laughs> okay. not exactly. Just. Sometimes we have questions that you answer early or something. You know, it'll happen. Blech. Well, for the most part, I'm done. Usually, stuff that I'm in, as soon as it gets finished, goes on my Tumblr, which you should follow. It's Robot Butterfly. Or I know I did. It's, yeah, it's one of those. Here, All right. I think I can put it in the chat. That'd be wonderful. Okay, uh, how did you find out about Pony? Ooh, um, it was in March, I think, it was either March or May of last year, and, yeah. uh, th uh, there's a webcomic that I read called Gunner Krieg Court, which you may have heard of that, I don't know, but, um, there's a fan art thread, and someone ponified the main characters of that. And then everyone on the forums all like, I love ponies! And I'm like, hmm, this is interesting. And so I made my brother watch the first two episodes with me. And then we watched two more. And then we kept watching them four at a time until we finished it. And then I discovered Equestria Daily and everything was over. <laughs> Life was complete. Uh, Limitless, do you want to take the next question? I suppose so. Well, uh, clearly you eventually made your way to EQD, but what specifically caused you to become a brony? What specifically caused me to become a brony? Or Pegasus? <laughs> um, I, I think initially I liked ponies. Like, are you asking me why I like ponies or why I joined the fandom? Um, a little bit of both, however you want to answer the question. Um, initially, I liked the show because I fell in love with the characters. 
everyone always says like the animation and the writing, but the characters. I'm just like, I really want these girls to be my best friends. <laughs> and, and then the fandom was all like super nice and, and wonderful. <laughs> so I just ended up staying. Like I came for the ponies, stayed for the fandom. Well stated. I I said something like that in a, <laughs> our first podcast. Something like Come that. Yeah. Pony, stay for the brony. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, at what point did you realize that you were just over your head in regards to the fandom? Um. <laughs> when you were in too deep. It was probably when I started. Uh, it was probably when I started recording pony voices. Uh, in that summer, I did covers of some of the songs. Like I, uh, I auditioned for a fandom of At the Gala that ended up not happening. Um, but it, it was when I started recording pony voices, and when I realized that I was going to Equestria Daily every single day. I'm just like, well, there you go. <laughs> Too late to turn back now. Yeah, no. I don't really want to. Agreed. <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite episode? Usually when people ask me this question, I tend to say uh, Cutie Mark Chronicles. Good like episode? it. One of my least favorite episodes was... Um, this isn't your question, but I feel like it's necessary to add to my answer. Uh, one of my least favorite episodes is the... Um, balls, what's it called? The Showstoppers. Because it's really predictable and formulaic. The thing with Cutie Mark Chronicles is that it's also predictable and formulaic, but it also manages to be enjoyable. And I don't know, I just really, really, really like that episode. It's... That, that, yeah. <laughs> I think your best pony episodes, they, uh... They'll try and go one way, and then they'll throw you a curveball there in the middle and subvert whatever trope you're expecting. Yeah. Very so, true. who's best pony? I have more than one. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> best main six pony is Applejack. Best side character is Spitfire, and best background pony is Lyra. I also like. I also really, really, really like Shirley, but she ends up not going up there. Hmm. Poor Shirley. She never gets the recognition she deserves. <laughs> it's because of those older generations, man. Maybe. Yeah, but I don't then know. how do you explain Rainbow Dash? <laughs> <laughs> we just blocked it from our mind. <laughs> <laughs> we don't it was even that think bad. of the dark times. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's in the chat saying, "Hey, the older generations aren't all that bad." <laughs> <laughs> Some of them. All right. How? When? Why did you start voice acting? Um. Okay. I had a. I had a friend online uh, that started getting into voice acting, basically right around the time I got into ponies. And she's all like, "You guys should try voice acting. It's so much fun." And I'm just like, "Okay." And I started off doing like. Warriors cat stuff and that lasted for like two weeks before I started doing pony things so I've only really been voice acting for like a year or a little over a year I guess hmm. that's just voice acting specifically though I have been acting longer than that usually one thing leads into another yeah uh, what made you choose to start voice acting for Lyra? 
Oh, for Lyra? Um, I was derping around on TV tropes, <laughs> and I got to the like the background pony thing, and I was reading about Lyra, and then right then, spontaneously, I just decided that Lyra was best pony. And I'm like, I wonder what she would sound like. There isn't really a, a fan voice for her yet. And I'm like, I'm just going to do this. So the first Lyra video I did is still on my channel. It's, um, I think it's just called Fan Voice Lyra and Bon Bon. And uh, I, I really like doing this voice. I'm going to send it to a Crush Radio Daily. And then... Um, EQD just begged people to get the word about your Lyra voice. But what you don't know is that that post showed up two or three weeks after I sent my voice in. I thought they didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the cue at EQD for you. Those guys are constantly buried with stuff to get through. Yeah. It's amazing well, that they get anything done. Yeah. True. Hmm. Well, that's how that happened. Yeah. Well, moving along. Part of your world has always had this proclivity to, for making me cry. You planning to uh, lyrify more songs? How about covering Kermit the Frog with It's Not Easy Being Teal? <laughs> I haven't actually thought about that. I'm going to... I'll see what other songs I can lyrify. It's just that part of the world, part of your world fits so well. <laughs> Especially with her. <laughs> yeah. It's just that particular video I decided to do in like... It, it, it took like an hour, the entire process of deciding to do that and then ponifying it and then recording it. So... Yeah, I've been... I've been trying to ponify some songs and just... I get to a certain point and I can't get acid just for me I get too obsessed with things and so I have no idea where the sentence is headed anymore or paragraph <laughs> <laughs> oh I can do a lyrical rewrite just fine it's just finding the uh, yeah. instrumental tracks that I need well That's I can make the instrumental it's stumbling. just you know it's a, it's a stumbling block but uh, on the subject of Lyra's proclivity for wishing to be a human, can we trust you with a hacksaw? I'm what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I, I. That's a such a weird question. I. <laughs> I've never really wished I was a pony. So I don't. I'm okay with being dexterous and having hands so I don't know how to answer this <laughs> oh limitless I saw that question and I, I read it out and I'm like how is this going to play in with anything still not it sure worked. Uh, <laughs> still it worked not just sure. fine you, you don't worry you're pretty little head about this <laughs> you let daddy handle this one <laughs> Oh, gosh. So what was your reaction when EQD finally broke down after a couple weeks and decided to post your voice recording? Oh, my God. Um, I had school that day, and I woke up in the morning and checked my phone, and I had so many YouTube messages. I was so confused. <laughs> and, uh, oh, God, I was freaking out the entire day. I kept repeating that, like, this is the best day ever. I'm so happy. I'm pretty sure I almost cried. Jumping around like Twilight. Yes, 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 yes! yes, 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 yes. Uh, but it would be too hard to explain to anyone who asked, so I'm just, like, quietly holding in my excitement the entire day. It's like Pinkie Pie right before the laugh, like a laughter outburst, just <laughs> so happy. Yeah. Uh, were, were you expecting to get that kind of recognition? No, I really was not. Um, I did get an email back from Equestria Daily, like, after I sent it, a few days after. It, but it said, I'll show this to Fee, she's a big Lyra fan. And then time 
passed by and they didn't post it. So I'm just like, oh no, she hates me. <laughs> and yeah. I just, I really did not think they were going to post it. Hmm. I just thought there was no harm in sending it to them. All right, now here's the question that you somewhat covered earlier. It's the, uh, besides doing Lyra, you keep yourself busy doing several projects, doing other voices. Do you mind talking about those for a minute I or two? I do not mind talking about those. I can talk about those for a while, actually, but I will attempt to uh, hmm. make it, yeah, condense it. <laughs> the vinyl scratch tapes. I play so many ponies. Um, uh, reharmonize ponies. Uh, if if anyone has heard of that, um, there's a series of fanfics on uh, Discorded and the Reharmonized Ponies. Uh, yes, Discorded and Reharmonized Ponies. There's an audiobook of that, and I work on that. And I play so many ponies. I play Rainbow Dash, Applejack, and Rarity as well as Derpy and Apple Bloom and a lot of ponies. That is a hmm. huge cast, a huge project. Um, also, Welcome to Ponyville is a game that was featured at BronyCon. It's going to be like a point-and-click dealy, and you can do whatever <laughs> and live in Ponyville. And I'm going to be Spitfire, Lyra, Cheerilee, and Scootaloo in that. And one... Uh, no, before I get to that... Um, I recently joined the Pony in a Box team, who are the people who make the Doctor Who's Adventures things. They're starting a Daring Do series, and I play a pilot named Swiftwing. And I I also, like, lend my voice to shorts that they do. Like, if you heard the short that was, uh... It's called The Best, I think. It's, like, Philly Spitfire and Soren, and I was Spitfire in that. Um... One last thing is the Antipodes audiobook. Um, so few people know about this, but it's so great. Like, if you've read Antipodes, it's it's really, really good, and I really enjoy working on it. And uh, me and uh, my friend Great Din, who plays Blue Blood in the vinyl scratch tapes, uh, we're tiptoe and jigsaw, and it's awesome. I'm like, I'm a lead in something and nobody knows what it is. So please go listen to that. It would make me so happy. But vinyl scratch tapes, yeah, those are great. I love those people. Yes, I played Spitfire in the vinyl scratch tapes. <laughs> I was listening to those earlier today, actually. Yes, it was uh, not that As you should have been. This morning, <laughs> and it was so adorable. Adorable. Oh, I also... <laughs> I didn't actually list who I played. Notably, I play Spitfire and Beauty Brass in there. B and B Beauty Brass is the loud one at the end of episode four. Uh, there you go. I have to admit, that was a heck of a laugh. <laughs> I'm having a bit of trouble controlling the volume of my voice. <laughs> Corey's a fantastic writer. Yeah. So you can do a lot of voices, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Do you want to show us any right now? What would you like to hear? I don't have anything in particular. Limitless, do you have anyone? Any pony? Oh, I uh, heart Lyra. <laughs> I'm so hung up on Lyra right now, it's not even funny. I can do a Lyra voice. <laughs> This is how life is. Yay! <laughs> there are so many humans listening to me right now. I'm so excited! <laughs> uh, someone literally just went into the chat and was like, Lyra, do it! <laughs> <laughs> so worth it. Well, there you go. That's what you're known for, so. I'm sorry, I just looked at the <laughs> chat and apparently if I'm 25% of Terra strong. Ah, uh, why? <laughs> the power level must be way over 9,000 then. <laughs> uh, freaking out, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> uh, Terra strong, gotta love her. Anyhow. Yeah, she's fantastic. 
Well, so have you auditioned for more professional voice work, or are you happy or content uh, staying within the fandom? Oh, I would love to do more professional stuff. I don't really get scouted for non-pony things very often, uh, as far as amateur productions, but um, I did send a demo reel into Funimation, and... I have the opportunity to audition for them because I live near their studio. So it's a possibility in the future, but not right now. Oh, if you were in a Funimation, I'd buy that and give you a little money, I guess. <laughs> yes, the <some> money. <laughs> yeah. You get paid. Uh um, besides voice acting, are there any other mediums in which you've chosen to express yourself? Before I was an actor, uh, which I've been doing for like um, five and a half years, I want to say, uh, I was I I draw things. I, I, I draw things. I have a DeviantArt. It's the Robot Butterfly at DeviantArt.com. Not at DeviantArt.com. Dot DeviantArt. <laughs> I've uh. I've been drawing for a very long time and I would really, really, really love to get into animation. That is what I want to do with my life. Other oh. than that, I really don't do anything other than theater. Well, needless to say, you draw good. Uh, <laughs> I was definitely I was, impressed. I was like, wait, you can do this with your voice and this... Oh... <laughs> She's well, a one woman wrecking crew. Just, I think you saw my my comment earlier. I said something like, "How can I get this inserted into my bloodstream?" Something weird like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was writing by this talent. <laughs> <laughs> liquefy this talent and put it in my DNA so I can be better as a person. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Are there any specific types of voice or emotional states you most enjoy portraying? I like to think that I'm really good at crying and screaming. So when it gets really dramatic and my character is in a lot of pain, I get really excited because I love crying into a microphone. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm one of those Other people. than that, yelling is really fun, but it I... hurts my <laughs> Uh, when I'm when I'm bored and playing guitar or something, I'll often sing along to something, and sometimes I'll push my voice further than I should. I'm always not <laughs> doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Wind up throwing out your throat bone. Oh, oh, more than just my throat bone. Sometimes I just my head falls off, and I can't explain it to anyone. It's just that note was like such so powerful that it just rolled. Man, I hate when that happens. <laughs> Last time my, my head, head fell off, my off it rolled underneath the couch and I couldn't find it for like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. You kept seeing your feet. Yeah, you, you see your feet walk by and just... I can't... Uh, where... No. I'm facing the other way. Okay. A little it's bit really off awkward. topic, but it reminds me of uh, this one guy on YouTube did a series of prank calls from Sesame Street characters to different places, and uh, he had Elmo call a pharmacy. He's like, I got an air in my eyes. I, Elmo doesn't know what his eyes are. He can see what the eyes see, but he doesn't know what they're looking at. <laughs> And the guy at the pharmacy is like, you're not supposed to put the nair in your eyes. It goes on the hair. <laughs> That's rich. So what challenges occur for you um, with the, uh, the performance and the organization of audio drama? Oh, God. Um, well... As for performance, uh, it takes a lot of energy, and I also have to find time to record, and finding a place where I can get a recording session in 
as well as having enough energy to be able to actually put out a convincing performance can be stressful. Um, what what do you mean on the organization end? Well, if there's any logistical quirks like timetables or you know following di- like the director's instructions or you know. honestly every director is different and because Very these are uh, amateur productions sometimes your directors don't know what they're doing uh, there is a wide variety of uh, competence <laughs> in every single production that you will ever do if you're doing it online and that's just something that you have to get used to. Hmm. We can definitely speak to that here at IBR. We've had a couple of interns here that have performed less than admirably, and half of our staff just came in screaming. And, uh, like, specifically Phony and CB, I mean, we hired them, and... All of a sudden, we had a website and everything, so... I do remember that. Yeah, it, it all depends on... We were taking our sweet wins. time making our first podcast, and then suddenly, tons of stuff everywhere. It was kind of awkward. Extremely uh, awkward, although greatly pleasurable. Goodbye, Element Excellent! Oh. Sniffle. <laughs> you will be missed. You will be. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just gonna wipe my eyes. Get... <laughs> I don't think I can handle it. You're terrible. I'm gonna cry too. <laughs> yeah, we're out of written questions, so I was. Oh, you're out of questions. Oh no. Written this questions. This is inexcusable. So yeah, we've still got a. A small and but growing stack of uh, chat submitted questions. Excellent. That'll keep you busy after we get yeah. our second song. There he's yes. in the staff I'm... chat saying, Bull! <laughs> you still have questions? I still have airtime. Yes. Well, you've got another hour or so of airtime. Uh, what are your thoughts on Ibrony Radio, if you have any? I'm sure you've visited our site before. I don't know. You guys are really cool and really funny, and your website is very, very pretty. I don't... I know very little, but that's yeah. what I can say. I was expecting something website. along the lines of uh, delightfully disorganized. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty to look at. The website. My only complaint is that wood. Yeah, I, I don't like the wood, but everything else looks cool. Yeah. I still want to yell out. That uh, and we don't support PHP, which makes getting my request system up and running a super pain. Ouch. Because, yeah, as soon as we have a request system, Stan, or Sam can start uh, putting weight on songs, and you'll hear the good stuff more often. That would be wonderful. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So we have to kind of put in a word for iBrony, because we love them there. Would you ever consider joining iBrony? It's like a Facebook, but, you know, ponies. Maybe? (laughs) It's a possibility, I suppose. I haven't thought about it. (laughs) I don't like using Facebook. I don't like using Facebook either, but I like I brony. Yeah. <laughs> the only noteworthy thing my Facebook does is log me into I brony. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's rich. It used so, to be where I'd fall back to when I brony went down, but no, now we have I brony radio, so... You want a Spitfire plushie, Mordekaiser. I want a Spitfire plushie. <laughs> I think everyone wants a Spitfire plushie. I think everyone wants everyone. a plushie in general. Everyone oh, wants yeah. a Spitfire plushie. No. I hope, <laughs> I hope by next Monday to own a plushie. Like, this is my <laughs> ideal. 
if I can find one at Everfree Northwest for a price I can swallow, then yes, I will be coming home with a plushie. I actually ordered a Rainbow Dash plush a few days ago, and that should be coming in the mail soon. And I know CB is waiting on his still. <laughs> She's been waiting for a month. You gotta love shipping, man. There's about to be uh, this requirement at Ibrony Radio that in order to be on staff, you need a plushie. A plushie <laughs> and a blue snowball. A plushie and a blue snowball. Or at least progress at the two. I don't know. Alright, let's get to that list of chat submitted questions. Favorite fan fiction relating to ponies, or fem fiction, I guess. Favorite fan fiction? Oh, I don't read much fan fiction. Uh, honestly, I'm probably going to say the vinyl scratch tapes. Corey Williams is honestly probably one of my favorite writers ever. I love his scripts. The dialogue is so genuine and perfect, and I love recording it. Hmm. All right. Uh, same person who asked that, Mordekaiser, asks, uh, does Lyra give free belly with wubs? Wubs. Wubs? <laughs> wubs. Wubs. I don't... Wubs. <laughs> I don't know if Lyra does, because I'm not Lyra. Plot twist. And I also haven't ever asked her. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> That's a weird it's question. Like <laughs> Arishai, our little staff buddy, uh, asks, wants you to give a little shout out in your line or voice. To Arishai? Arishai. Um. <laughs> Hi, Arishai. You're awesome. I love you. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it works. Yay. Uh, have you ever said no to ponies, Mordekaiser? Not in my memory. And if you I, had, I don't you think wouldn't I ever admit had. it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't think I ever have. Huh. Uh, do you have a particular dream job? Oh, man. Um, I would love to work at Leica, who is the uh, people who make Coraline and Paranorman, which is coming out, oh. or Valve, or any studio ever, uh, working as an animator or a storyboarder or something. But, of course, being able to actually voice act on the actual Pony Show, that would be a dream. Studio B? Yes. <laughs> Um, do you have a favorite comic book? Oh, um, I actually didn't grow up with comic books. I don't, (gasps) I don't really (laughs) read them. Like, I was a really feminine child, and I'm just like, dillies! I don't know, (laughs) but I would love to get into comic books, like... I'm the next time I see one I will probably buy it, but yeah. I can't I don't I can't answer that question right now. Hmm. Well, instead of comic books then then uh how about their intellectual properties like you know which characters you like X-Men or Avengers or Deadpool or maybe some Batman or Superman do you have a preference? Um what I did grow up with was the Justice League animated series. I remember that. And I really, 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 really like the Flash. Oh, he's a quick yeah. one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Marshmallows or trees? Trees. <laughs> <laughs> Marshmallows? Pick, I don't know. If you were going to be stuck I think on a that's deserted a... island... It... And you had a choice of to be stuck on an island with marshmallows or one with trees. Which would you pick? I don't, I don't know how to answer that question. I, I would think, probably pick I think the Marshmallow a, Island. Personally, <laughs> I I would like the tree. Well, if I was on a deserted island and I, I had like a hatchet tree. or something, <laughs> I would love to be. I can't do a Fluttershy voice. But um, <laughs> if if I was on a deserted island and I had a hatchet or something and I had a tree, I could like make a boat out of that tree and escape. 
A marshmallow wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> you can't make a boat out of a marshmallow. Not a single marshmallow, anyway. <laughs> that probably, subject probably cupcakes or muffins. <laughs> oh, marshmallow retreat is in Fluttershy a rarity. I understand now. <laughs> if it's in... Yeah. It, <laughs> if it's in that context, I prefer rarity over Fluttershy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Fluttershy is kind of my current favorite. So oh, uh, <laughs> I don't hate Fluttershy. I just like. I know. I'm joking. Uh, cupcakes or muffins? Cupcakes. I'm sorry, Derpy. Uh, cupcakes are where it's at. <laughs> And the April page asks, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, okay, Brahms has, like, this kind of ice cream that I can't, have never been able to find anywhere else, and it's, like, it's, uh, it's peppermint, and it's got, like, these minty candies in it, and it's all like, oh my god, it's amazing. Uh... If anyone has any more questions, just shout them out. Oh my goodness, there are... We actually just ran out of what was put into our Skype. Either oh. they were amazing, or they just were They were asking some bad questions or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to think that. Looking... Cupcakes or books? More to Kaiser again. Oh, cake or books? Cupcakes okay. or books. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I don't know. I think that's a Pinkie Pinky Pie or Twilight question. Oh, I don't know. It's one of those weird ones. I can't answer that. They're not comparable. If Pie was a person, would she date it? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Pie. Earlier in the chat, um, I saw "Why Are You a Robot Butterfly?" Can I answer that? I have an answer oh. for that. That's, yes, yes, absolutely. That that would be great. Um. Okay, I'm going to blow all your minds. It means nothing. They're uh, <laughs> design motifs. Like I really like the robot part. Is like steampunks and adorable robots, <laughs> and butterflies are butterflies. Like. Sweetie bot so ideas. Yes. It has nothing to do with Fluttershy. Oh, uh, there was Favorite Book by Thunderstring. Ooh. I don't I don't know if I can answer that. Um Favorite Book. Um I can answer it with like I'm going to answer with favorite thing I have read. Because it's not technically a book, it's a short story. Mm -hmm. Um, Orson Scott Card had a compilation of short stories uh, that was uh, it had Ender's Game in it like the short story version of it but it wow. also had a story called Unaccompanied Sonata which is also about like a post-apocalyptic future where like everything is regulated and uh, it just it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful and sad. I often credit it as the most beautiful thing I've ever read. So if you ever get your hands on it, Unaccompanied Sonata by Orson Scott Card. Uh, cool. Mobius Matrix asked the now famous question, How do you chair? I answered that earlier. You need to <laughs> candy. And uh, then it just happens. Would you prefer having your blood replaced with confetti, or would you rather have it replaced with rainbows? Ask Mor rainbows. Mordekaiser. Rainbows. Yep, yep, yep. Rainbows. Now, I already uh, had that transfusion, and rainbows kind of burn a little sometimes, especially when you sneeze. Yeah, they don't taste very good. I think confetti would clot a lot and be more, you know, <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> uh, Fetch26291 asks, Star Trek or Star Wars? Oh no! <laughs> and Mordekaiser also added, or Warhammer, and I will add, or Stargate. <laughs> I, okay, Stargate, <laughs> I did not watch very much of. 
Oh god, I'm going to be like stabbed in the eyeballs. I haven't actually seen Star Trek. I haven't seen any yeah, episodes Star- of it. Hold your eye open for me. <laughs> <laughs> like I know I should I should, but I I don't know why. There's no excuse for me not to have. And I also haven't seen Doctor Who. I'm really, really behind on my sci-fi intake. Yeah, someone was asking who your favorite Doctor was, so... Yeah. The (laughs) Twelfth! Pretty sure Doctor Who is the Twelfth Doctor. (laughs) Exactly. Oh, Uh, dear. um, How does one bacon... gets fed up. (laughs) How does one bacon... How does one bacon... Well, first you must be a narwhal, and then it must be midnight. <laughs> On February the 30th. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Limitless, you got an interesting request. Part of oh. their world as sung by yes, Lyra. I, we really should play this. You or, you know, I can sing it right now. <laughs> That would or be she wonderful. can sing it right now, which would be incredible. <laughs> do you guys want me to do that? I will mute my microphone for this. <laughs> As will I. Okay. Uh, there won't there won't be any uh, background music, I guess, unless I can just like unplug my headphones and just play it through my speakers. But that would be kind of outrageous. Well, might get a little echoey. Both... Yeah. Okay, acapella. Let's do it. Here we go. I'm gonna get the lyrics real fast so I don't balls them up. <laughs> that makes sense. Yep, yep, yep. No, hush, hush, video. I don't want you to, uh, play. Okay. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm a mare? A mare who has everything. Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one basement hold? Looking around here, you think, sure. She's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on two. What do you call them? Oh, feet. Flailing your hooves, you don't get too far. Hands are required for pulling hard strings. Strolling around with the... What's that word again? Tweet. Lyra, those are birds, not people. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free, wish I could be part of that world. What would I give if I could live where there are humans? What would I pay to spend a day as a girl, not a mare? Bet you up there, they wouldn't care if I don't use my levitation. I had to be born as a unicorn, but I can dare. I'm ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. I've been reading, there's only so much I can learn. When's it my turn? I persist. I want to prove that humans exist. This I decree. One day I'll be part of that world. Wow. Uh, Every tears, pony. Man, they stream in from my face. <laughs> Every pony. <laughs> Give RB a huge round of applause. That was fantastic. Clappy, 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 clap. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Arishai says, "Holy manure, so beautiful." 